my life, telling my truth. I was just shaking, I was so nervous. This is where I actually came out. The look on her face. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was nice to have that support for my siblings, especially before telling my parents. <laughs> So then it finally came time to tell my parents and that was something that I was obviously super nervous about. At this point, I had been out for about six months. I just had this idea and I thought if I do video journal, it would be nice to have these memories as life goes on. As it turns out, it's all led up to me being on YouTube and stuff like that. But at the time, like I had no idea what it would be and that's basically how the video journals came about. My first video journal was about coming out and what that process has been like and telling my truth and how important that was was for me. Actually that night, that's when I told my dad. That was a difficult conversation to have. With my parents, I felt like I reverted back to being like this little kid. I just sought their love without even explaining what was going on with me. I was just like, do you still love me? Like no matter what. And my dad being my dad, you know, he's just like, what'd you do? Like, what'd you do? And I knew like how the conversation was going. I kind of figured that he knew what I was going to say. I was like, can you guess what I'm going to say? And he was like, what you gay or something? I was like, well, yeah, yeah. He expressed a, a bunch of different things. Concern, disappointment, and to be honest, I think maybe a part of him blamed my mom. My mom and I are, are very close and that was just his mindset at the time. He asked me, you know, how do I know? And I was just like, well, how do you know you're into women? It's like, you just know. The only reason why I'm saying it now is because the world kind of made me fearful and I didn't think it would be okay for a very long time. With my dad, like, I wasn't as emotional, so I I wasn't really trying to go into like too much detail, but I just wanted him to know. Just like my brother advised, I did express. I was like, well, I haven't told mom yet. And I'm not gonna lie, I did feel like that actually did work in my favor. I was happy to hear from my dad that, you know, no matter what, he still loves me, but you can just hear in his voice that he's still upset about it. I do remember asking him from a religious standpoint, like, because I'm gay, like if I was in a relationship with somebody, do you think I would go to heaven? And that was like the number one thing I would ask all my Christian friends. He was like, yeah, I think you would go to Heaven, but he was like, you know, Bob, I'm, I'm not happy about it. You know, there's discrimination and all this stuff. I appreciated his honesty, and at this point, I was just happy to know that he knows, and I was good with that. That night, I had this anxiety on my mind, like, how is my mom gonna take it? The next day, I had plans with my mom. At the time, we were building a house. She invited me to go see how the construction was coming along, and this place was kind of far, so I knew I would have time to have the conversation with her. I don't even remember what small talk we were having, but there were small talk and eventually halfway through the trip I just I had to start talking well you know Ma, like there's something I need to tell you unlike anybody else that I've ever come out to I never felt so emotional it felt like I was walking on fire and if I just take one step back I can get out of it but I just kept going every sentence that I said was just bringing me closer to revealing my truth the scariest thing for me is that when it came to anybody that I really cared about and I was coming out to I didn't want to to change our relationship. That was really important to me. If tomorrow came, like I would hope it's as if I never even told you. Now that I was out, I had reached this point where I felt like if people didn't know this about me, I felt like they didn't know me. After six months, I couldn't deal with the fact that my parents didn't know. It was just like eating up inside of me. And I think that's why I just kept moving forward with every sentence. And before I could even say anything, just like tears started coming out. When I was younger, I used to cry a lot, but nowadays it takes a lot for me to cry. And I was crying like a little child. <laughs> Bad. At this time, I didn't even speak Korean like that, but somehow I found a way to ask her, like, do you love me? And she said, yes, of course. I can't say this is the case for everybody, but I did get a sense from both of my parents that as I was trying to tell them, they kind of knew. I don't know for how long or when, but it's like, you know, if you have four kids and one of them's a little different, <laughs> you'll probably know. But it does make a very big difference between thinking something and someone actually confessing and saying, this is what it is. Because then you really have to live in that moment and figure out life in that reality. My mom, unlike my dad, she wouldn't tell me. She wouldn't guess or say it. She made me say it. And I was like, you know what I want to say and I think you've known for a long time. And she was just like, if you have something to say, you need to say it. It was uncomfortable and very difficult, but I said it. From that point, she just got very, very quiet. She just kind of let me talk. I think I just tried to explain like how I felt emotionally, spiritually. I was talking about this six month journey that I had 
been on and just how much love I've received and that's really all I want that's all I hope for in my parents so we eventually got to the construction site she parked the car somewhere and we were just talking she was asking me things like you know do you want to be gay before I ever came out my answer would have always been no but this was a person who after 19 years finally came to the decision of accepting who they were and to say no I couldn't like I couldn't say no because saying no would erase the last six months of my life that I just had and it would just completely put me back in the same place that I was and I didn't want to be in that place anymore I knew like where the conversation was gonna go obviously it wasn't the best thing to hear at the time I also posed the same question to her that I did with my dad and her answer was different her answer was you being who you are if you're gay that's one thing but if you're actually doing things with other people and in a relationship and all that like she didn't believe I would go to heaven hearing it from my mom that was really difficult for me at that point the tears kind of dried up <laughs> reality was setting in and I was like okay this is what we're dealing with so we weren't like really fighting about it I didn't want the conversation to go to a place where I would feel even worse about myself so I just sort of let it be what it was and I let her say what she wanted to but she knew where my heart was and she knew what I meant and how I felt but very similar to my dad though they met me for who I was but it didn't change how they felt about me my parents still loved me at the end of the day and I think going to bed that night I was nervous I was worried like gosh this is gonna like weigh on my parents and just they're gonna think like oh we have a gay boy in our house like <laughs> I don't know like I, I was worried that it would actually change our relationships but literally like the next day whatever closeness we had it was still there regardless of who I am and what they now know me as that is something that I'm so thankful for and I can only wish that other people that were coming out had that same type of experience I know that not everybody gets that I feel really lucky and very blessed because even though my parents clearly showed that they didn't necessarily agree with everything or maybe they weren't happy with it they didn't show a difference in their love that's all I could have ever hoped for I think in the moment especially with my mom like it would have been nice you know to feel completely accepted and, and to get like a, a speech of encouragement but I didn't get that but I did leave the conversation with that same sense of love and that regardless of who you are like you're still my son I still love you and this isn't gonna change that so that meant a lot to me and I think for me and my development from that point going forward that was actually really really important as far as what my mom said on the religious front I remembered I was emailing a teacher about it she actually gave me some really good insight she basically said like you went through a really long journey like it took you 19 years to finally acknowledge and accept who you are it's probably gonna take them a long time as well to you know come to terms with everything what might seem a certain way now might be different later you just never know never doubt the future in a sense it just really put my mind into perspective and made me have more sympathy for my parents that feeling of disappointment and feeling upset I needed to let that go and just give them time to figure things out so after that this full version this complete version of myself just became the new normal I wasn't so focused or fixated on trying to dodge questions or, or dodge whatever might come my way and in that way I made really good friends in college they were people that from the very beginning I was able to just be completely myself I would say after maybe two years like life wasn't even about coming out anymore it was just about living my life as a full person Person and dealing with the daily struggles that everyone deals with. I wanted to take you guys on this journey because coming out for me wasn't just about the very first time I told somebody that I'm gay. It was a long arcing journey of learning to accept myself, but also being able to confront my worst fears and have the strength to be able to get through it. This isn't a story just for people who might be struggling with being gay. This is a story about learning to be your true authentic self, be yourself love yourself like that's the biggest lesson that I learned throughout this entire journey and if it wasn't for that I definitely wouldn't be who I am today before you can expect other people to fully feel a certain way about you you have to feel that way about yourself first because if you're not there then it's gonna be that much more difficult for other people to get there with you and as far as my relationship with my parents gay topics and stuff like we don't really talk about it that much that's just the honest truth every once in a while when I do talk to my parents like I do kind of put some stuff in there to test the waters and see how things are moving along. There was one time my dad, he was complaining to me about something and he was like, you know, when you grow up and, and you marry a woman, I was like washing the dishes at the time and I was just like, then he said, or a man. 
whatever. That actually made me really happy because he made an effort to correct himself in that way, so that actually meant a lot to me. So I was like, okay. With my mom, when I first came out to Korea, actually, she told me, be careful about what I say, like I'm gay to and stuff. And the fact that she did that, it is something that's still on her mind. And, and she didn't say it in any negative way. She was just honestly saying it as a parent who's concerned and, and doesn't want their child to like go through issues because other people can't deal with the situation, you know? And that also made me feel good too. It's been a couple of years since I came out to them, but it's like, you know, baby steps. And that's something that I've come to accept and I'm willing to accept. It's like, you know your kid for 19 years and then all of a sudden it's like they are different like I, w I was different maybe not in any tangible way but their ideas and their dreams of who I was had to be shifted and that takes time to accept I would say it's becoming more and more worth the wait but I never had to wait for love and like I said our relationship didn't change so that's the most important thing so yeah so that was my coming out story and I hope you enjoyed it and I really appreciate you guys like sticking through it with me it's been long almost 50 15 years worth of material. Whether you've seen just one video or seen the whole series, like I hope that it inspires you to keep fighting for who you are and what you believe in, regardless of what other people might say or think. So I've been talking a lot. I need to end this video. I think that's about it. All right, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Zuff678. Be yourself, love yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye. This camera is going to be the end of me. No! Focus, focus, come back, come back. Any other things do I want to say? Any other things do I want to Hey, hey. It is 9.40, it's almost 10 o'clock and I still haven't made dinner. It was like she was really meeting me for the first time and she was just like I love you and we like hugged to see that Acceptance at its purest form and it wasn't even like a hesitation. It was just like instant It was one of the best nights of my life for sure